What up, it's your boy NWP, and uh, today we got an interesting one again. Second video today with the swordfish. Uh, as I was just going to get a gold, and I started from zero to a freaking hero. And we'll talk about it in just a second. Do the daily thing, you know what I mean? But if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. If you look down near that box, you'll also find some links in the description that have giveaways, social media, and stuff like that if you want to keep up and, and keep involved. So go ahead and check those out. It'll help you out more than it'll help me. But, uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and bring the class setup on the screen right now. There it is. And as you can see, we have high kale, hybrid mags, uh, the red dot, and, you know, the quick draw. So this setup is absolutely disgusting, okay? So you got the, you got the speed to get in your close quarters gunfights, you know? But this gun... Like okay, yeah, it's not as it's not as absurdly overpowered as the DMR is. All right, the DMR is just just wrong. It's overpowered. We don't even need to discuss it. But this thing right here has so much versatility to it. Uh, it definitely feels like a regular AR. Uh, I should launch this one, <laughs> but you know whatever. So. Yeah, the TAC rifles in general feel like ARs to me, and I don't, I don't know why another classification was made, and it was like, what, they just wanted to replace shotgun, you know, like, I don't know on that one, doesn't make any sense, I uh, feel like they could have done a better option, just kept it in the AR pool, but uh, whatever, you know, so I'm really enjoying uh, playing with a bunch of the different weapons, I don't, I'm not a big SMG guy, but I really do like, uh, you know, these ARs as they're really nice right now. I know the nerf is coming and an SMG buff is coming because the pros are going to start bitching. Uh, and that's whatever, I guess. But, you know, it typically, it seemed to me, at least in Black Ops 2, ARs were super overpowered at the beginning. As well as a few of the SMGs, like the PDW, the, you know, like real long fighting uh SMGs, you know what I mean, like, and the MSMC was stuff like that was all nerf, but like, ARs are typically uh, always overpowered at the beginning, and uh, you know, they're they're bigger fucking bullets, you know, to, in the games at least. I mean, a lot of it's weird. A lot of the times, there's ARs that are actually SMGs in Call of Duty, and there's SMGs that are actually ARs, you know, like that are actually considered rifles, we'll say. But they're most of the, most of the things we call assault rifles in video games are carbines or you know short barrel tactical rifles. Uh, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like a lot of SMGs that are featured are also short barrel tactical rifles, not uh, something else otherwise. But you know, it's it's neither here nor there in that regard. But um, you know, I just don't understand why another classification of rifle was added. Um, you know and. Uh, and then like the secondaries being you know, like shotguns and stuff like that. I just don't under it doesn't make any sense to me. Not in some of that stuff. It's like they copied destiny ideas, like, ooh, secondary shotgun. So now we got like a destiny UI. And we've got a Fortnite battle pass. And uh yeah, like uh, Call of Duty has nothing original to it almost, it feels like. There's the um Pretty, yeah, there's pretty much nothing original left in Call of Duty at this point. It's just, you know, kind of turned into... Uh, they will just grab anything from any other game to make their lives easier so that they only have to, you know, think about, well, how do we make that system, not thinking of new systems. You know what I mean? Like, you, you could th basically, you know, how do I make a piece of wood into a circle you know what i mean like there's pr there's probably a couple ways to do that you know and i don't i don't know them other than you know like steaming it and bending it really but you know there's probably other techniques you know like uh you know even just cutting and sanding you know what i mean pieces and then gluing them together to make them round i guess so you know what i mean like taking the time just to think how to make something that's already been made is one thing but coming up with something completely new is a whole different story but uh you know that's going to cut it kind of short for our time here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this class setup works out great for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you want to check out some other videos, here they are right here. Have a good one.